what is the the biggest insight or learning that you had about yourself or your business through this kind of process that's that you hope to hold on to forever um ross it's actually quite a recent uh, term that that i'm really onboarding now and it's limiting beliefs um i think the real work is to examine your limiting beliefs uh, for me, I'm about to publish my second novel, the first of the Shoshin Walk series. It's coming out next week, uh, Max and the Mulligan. And my limiting belief was that I hate the revision process because my earlier, my, my years ago stabs at writing, I've hated the work that comes after the first draft. I love I loved the creative process, but I had a limiting belief that I hate the hard work of fixing it, making it good, you know, doing the hard yards of of refining it. And in COVID, I switched my headspace. I don't even, I can't even tell you how I did it now. I, it's probably that daily ritual, but I was just like, this is going to be fun. Today, my intention is I'm going to have fun with this. I'm have fun with making this better. And so I did find the limiting belief and then consciously figuring out how to, how to change that viewpoint, how to change that perspective. COVID was not a disaster. COVID was an opportunity. Um, not having clients was not an obstacle. It was it, it was it was an opportunity for 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 time with the family. For just switching the limiting belief um, has been the biggest, uh, yeah, an understanding, being you know being receptive to identifying a limiting belief and then figuring out you know books like Atomic Habits, The Seven Habits. Um, Anthony Robbins, there's all these resources available to us to kind of go, well, what's my limiting belief and how can I, how can I switch that and how can I, you know, get the thing done that I thought was impossible for me.